this man is the symbol of the finest police officer in the world. Police officers may only use that amount of force necessary to make an arrest. The LAPD it was rebuilt explicitly to enforce racial restrictions. It started out with that southern racist mentality. This was about people who had reached the boiling point. We were sick and tired of being sick and tired, of, and we weren't taking it no more. If a white man is not ready to clean his house up, he shouldn't have a house. It should catch on fire. It wasn't a riot. You know, it was a rebellion against oppression. What would make all the rioting stop? I don't think it ever stopped, really. The legacy of 1965 is that pretty much every major city during this period experienced some type of urban uprising. Gangs were formed to protect us from those who would come in and prey on the community. We were trying to make a difference, make a change, make our people feel better about themselves. Music has this sharp turn and it's offering a sense of resistance. If you don't have these truth speakers through music or art, then all you have is the media. That's your main source of what truth is. Finally, we got some evidence. This time, we're gonna have justice. Lo and behold, boom. We the jury find the defendant not guilty. Everybody like, oh, fuck this, not again. I could just see all around the city, stuff just started happening. Everybody's in an uproar. The city, it's just a, a glow with fire, total chaos. It was amazing, it was like 65 all over again. I can tell you, People were mad. We finally had the spotlight and the attention on us. The community is now much more organized and pushes back a lot harder. How long can you suppress and oppress people before you expect a reaction? I gotta tell a 12-year-old how to conduct himself when he interface with law enforcement because I'm scared that if he acts silly and does something with his hands, they will kill him.